Markets nowadays are full of countless varieties of food items, and that often makes it quite challenging to differentiate between good or bad foods and make healthy choices. Even worse, unfortunately, it's all too common for many food companies to market their products as healthy, when in reality, they're loaded with added sugars, unhealthy fats, and certain other ingredients that can do more harm than good. In fact, some foods that we think of as staples in a healthy diet can actually be quite detrimental to our health. So if you want to avoid some of the sneaky culprits in your grocery list, watch this video till the end. Because in today's episode, we'll tell you about 12 foods that can't be called healthy anymore. Get ready to be surprised! Number 1. Canned Fruits Canned fruits, especially the ones preserved in sugary syrups, may seem very tasty. But in fact, when the fruit is canned in light syrup or heavy syrup, it implies that a lot of sugar may be added to the fruit. Nevertheless, most fruits are naturally sweet, additional sugar is not required, and can be very unhealthy. However, if you prefer the convenience of canned fruit, there are options available that are not packed in syrup. Make sure to examine the ingredient label to ensure that the product is canned in either 100% natural fruit juice or water. Neither of these canned fruits should include added sugars. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Vegetable Shortening Vegetable shortening is commonly used in baking as a substitute for butter or lard, and it is often used to make flaky pie crusts, biscuits, and other baked goods. Vegetable shortening may be doing more harm than good to your baked goods, especially if you're fond of them. This is because it is typically made by hydrogenating vegetable oils, such as soybean oil, cottonseed oil, or palm oil. Hydrogenation makes them solid at room temperature and similar in texture and appearance to butter or margarine. Even if they are 100% plant-based fat, their regular consumption can increase bad LDL cholesterol and decrease good HDL cholesterol in your body, leading to a high risk of developing heart disease. If you are a baker, there are several alternatives to vegetable shortening that you can use in baking, such as grass-fed butter, coconut oil, or olive oil. These fats are more natural and have a better nutritional profile than vegetable shortening. And if you are buying pre-made baked goods or processed foods, make sure to read the ingredient label carefully. Look for products that do not contain vegetable shortening or trans fats. Number 3. Non-Dairy Coffee Creamer Non-dairy coffee creamer is another product that contains hydrogenated oils. Additionally, many commercially available powdered or liquid non-dairy creamers often contain high fructose corn syrup, which has been linked with liver fat buildup and several gastrointestinal issues. Other common types of sugars in non-dairy coffee creamers, such as isolated fructose, maize syrup, glucose syrup, and tapioca syrup, may have similar unhealthy effects on the body. However, you don't need to give up coffee entirely to avoid these issues. Instead, try drinking your black coffee or swapping out non-dairy creamers for natural plant-based milk, such as almond milk, coconut milk, or oat milk. Organic creamers made from the milk of grass-fed cows are also a good option. These alternatives are much healthier and can provide the same level of satisfaction as traditional creamers. Number 4. Diet Soda being a nearly zero-calorie drink, you may be considering it healthy, but in fact, it's one of the drinks that shouldn't be called healthy anymore. Diet soda is usually packed with artificial sweeteners, which can be even worse than actual sugar. Many modern studies suggest that artificial sweeteners can actually contribute to weight gain. This is mainly because they have a tendency to stimulate the appetite, which can lead to overeating. Some studies also suggest that artificial sweeteners can disrupt the body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels. Plus, they have negative effects on our friendly gut bacteria, which can seriously disturb our gut health and immune function. Given the potential health risks, experts suggest limiting the intake of diet soda. Instead, consider having other beverages that are healthier, such as plain water, lemon water, or 100% natural fruit juices. Number 5. Low-fat peanut butter. 
Although nut butter is generally regarded as healthy due to its high unsaturated fat content, low-fat peanut butter may not be as healthy as it may seem. When fat is removed from peanut butter, not only does it lose healthy fats, but you may also end up consuming a product that has extra sugar and filler ingredients. These added ingredients are usually added to low-fat kinds of butter to make up for the loss of fat. If you're buying peanut butter, it's best to look for varieties that are made up of roasted peanuts, unsaturated fats, perhaps a small amount of salt, and free of added sugars, artificial flavors, and hydrogenated oils. Number 6. Tile Fish While fish in general is a great source of nutrition, it's important to be mindful of the type of fish you consume. One type of fish that shouldn't be called healthy is tile fish. This is mainly because it usually has a high concentration of mercury, which can cause poisoning if consumed in excessive amounts. Therefore, it's best to steer clear of tile fish when ordering seafood at a restaurant. Some of the best alternatives are low-mercury fatty fish, like salmon and sardines, which also contain healthy fats, omega-3s, and several other nutrients. Number 7. White Flour-Based Cereals while sugary breakfast cereals may be tempting, it's important to check if they're made with white flour. White flour-based cereals are generally low in nutrition and high in refined carbs, which can cause a rapid spike and then a rapid crash in blood sugar levels. This can lead to low energy, mood swings, and untimely food cravings. Instead, it's recommended to opt for high-fiber whole grain cereals like oatmeal and bran flakes. These cereals can help keep you fuller for longer and provide sustained energy throughout the day. Number 8. Non-Organic Strawberries If you love strawberries, you might want to think twice before buying non-organic ones. Many conventionally farmed strawberries are often heavily contaminated with pesticides, making them the top item on 2023's Dirty Dozen list. Not only are pesticides harmful to the environment, but they can also have negative impacts on your health. Pesticides can disrupt the endocrine system. They have the tendency to bind with hormone receptors, disrupting normal hormonal function. This can be especially concerning for women, who may experience hormonal imbalances or thyroid problems as a result. So it's better to opt for organic strawberries to avoid these potential health risks. Number 9. Salami Salami may be a popular lunch meat choice, but it's not the healthiest option out there and one of the foods that can't be called healthy anymore. Salami falls under the category of cured meats, which have been associated with a number of health issues, such as hypertension and heart disease, due to their high sodium content. Salami is also high in saturated fats and contains sodium nitrites, which can convert into harmful inflammatory compounds and can even cause cancers. If you're looking for a healthier alternative, consider lean protein options like ground beef, turkey, or chicken breast. Number 10. Juice Cocktails Juice cocktails may seem like a healthy beverage option because of the word juice in their name, but they can be deceiving. The term cocktail actually refers to the added sugars that are mixed with the juice, which can increase your daily calorie intake unnecessarily. Instead of reaching for a sugar-rich juice cocktail to start your day, consider opting for 100% fruit juice if you want a healthier option. By making this simple switch, you can reduce your sugar intake and increase the nutrients you get from the juice, making it a better choice for your overall health. Number 11. Packaged Donut Indulging in a packaged donut might seem like a tasty treat, but it's important to remember that these delicious treats don't offer much nutritional value. Made primarily from refined carbohydrates, packaged donuts can be detrimental to your health due to their high trans fat content. Consuming too many trans fats can lead to an increase in LDL or bad cholesterol levels, a major risk factor for heart disease. So try to avoid them or at least eat them in moderation. Number 12. Pre-made dough While pre-made dough might be an easy solution for making homemade pizza or pastries, it's important to keep in mind that it may cost you your precious health. The low-quality hydrogenated oils often used in pre-made doughs are high in artificial trans fats, which have been linked to increased risk of heart disease and stroke. Making your own dough from scratch is one of the healthiest and most customizable alternatives to the pre-made dough. 
You can control the ingredients and choose healthier options, such as whole grain flour, natural sweeteners, and healthy fats like olive oil or avocado oil. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.